Hi there, I'm Adrian with Aztec Bolting Services. Today I want to go over preventative maintenance on an Interpac W4000 hex link. The tools needed are a 4mm hex key, molly lube, an acid brush, brake clean or other suitable solvent, and rags. Remove the hex link from the drive unit by pulling down on the reaction foot and separating the two parts. Inspect the drive unit. Inspect the piston rod hook and bearing surface. Inspect the swivel manifold and couplers. Check for excess wear on the piston hook and bearing areas. Check the swivel manifold making sure that the couplers are in good shape. Remove the socket head cap screws using the 4mm hex key and remove the side plates. Remove the ratchet lever assembly. Remove the ratchet, drive shoe, and the compression spring. Clean all exposed components with mild solvent. Inspect the front and rear guard for deformation, strip bolt holes, and side plate spacer damage. Inspect the side plates for pitting and warpage, as well as deformation of the bushings. Look for worn teeth on the ratchet and drive shoe. Inspect the ratchet lever for cracks and excessive wear. Inspect for damage to the cylinder retaining pin, fail-safe pin, and the four roll pins on the side plate and the lower spacer retaining pin. Dry all of the components and apply a thin coating of the molly lube on the side plates and bushings. Apply lube to the bearing surface of the ratchet, taking care not to lubricate the teeth. Apply lubricant to the ratchet lever where the piston rod makes contact as well as the recess where the drive shoe is installed. Continue to reassemble in reverse order of disassembly, making sure that the compression springs on the drive shoe is inserted properly. The hex drive and drive shoe can only be installed one way. Reassemble, making sure that the side plate spacers are seated into their recess and the hex screws are tight. Check to make sure that the hex drive will ratchet when turned. Check to make sure that the reaction foot locked in place when the cylinder is installed. And that's pretty much it. If you need more information, please go to bolting.com. Thank you.